What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV. So, this particular video, I want to uh, emphasize something, all right? I don't do this type of videos frequently. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not. Uh, but I do like weather. I like following weather. And uh, at the end of the day, I like discussing weather with other people. Now, of course, weather has been in the news recently. We had a relatively long, drawn-out, protracted period of extreme cold weather. Uh, even where I live at here in, in RVA, there was a, a couple of days where the temperatures were well below freezing, and at night it got down to zero degrees, which is extraordinarily cold. Uh, for us here in RVA, of course, to you know, people that live north of us, they got much colder than that. But the uh, north of here, they got like some snow, and in particular, in Buffalo, Buffalo has already received, I think, something like a hundred and twenty something inches of snow so far this winter, and we have a lot of winter to go. But unfortunately, obviously, with a situation like that, there were some deaths. And some of these deaths were people who were going to the store at the last minute. Now, this picture you're seeing right here, this isn't fog. This ain't like some extreme fog. This was the weather conditions that were going on at the peak time of that blizzard. They received something like five feet of snow with 10 foot snow drifts. Temperatures, I, I, can't even, I can't even remember what the temperatures were, like 50 degrees below zero, 40 degrees below zero, 50 mile an hour sustained winds, gusts to 80 miles an hour. This was a historic weather event, even by Buffalo standards. And we're going to have more of these types of uh, situations, maybe not this intense, but we're going to have more winter weather, of course, throughout the duration of this upcoming, you know, during this winter. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because people have got to take these situations more seriously. Um, look, when you hear meteorologists about anything, about anything, if you hear a meteorologist say uh, this could be a historic event, when they're warning you a week out, um, go to the grocery store, uh, flashlights, power outages, um, radios, you know, uh, make sure your pets are inside or whatever it is. When they say life threatening in the weather bulletins, pay attention to what these people are saying. Don't be, don't be one of these people that say, oh man, I've been living here 50, I don't give a damn how long you've been living there. It's the reason why they're using this type of language. It's a reason. Unfortunately, a lot of people that lost their lives were people who didn't take this, take the storm seriously, and it came out and went out at the last minute. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. In situations like that, motherfucker job, okay? I don't care... How much I'm goddamn cadet kazoo with that job, you know, uh, you know, okay, how much they say, hey, we need you to come in. Now, look, if you're, uh, uh, you work in a hospital, it's, it's a little bit more, you know, taxing not to come in. Look, but I'll tell you this, <clears throat> you got to make your own judgments. Now, look, if this was like a 
standard snowstorm, six to twelve inches, twenty mile per hour winds. Yeah, the weather forecast is a little bit crappy, but you you can get to work in those conditions, right? But what what what? But what happened in Buffalo? Look, stay your ass home. When you have hurricane force winds, snow coming down like lard, blowing sideways, you can't see your hand in front of your face, stay home. Just stay home. I know it's it's like some people think, hey, you know, this ain't going to affect me. But stay home. Now, I understand People who work as far as, uh, you know, with the city, as far as, um, I guess, what do you call it? Uh, I know it's essential personnel, but people that work as far as cleanup and all of that, I, I understand it, that it's different for them. They, they, they're kind of entitled. They have to go out there. But other than them, and even with them, man, like, you, you can only do but so much. Even in a city like Buffalo, which gets so much snow, and so much of that budget is, 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 is uh, reserved for those types of situations. Even with that, that storm they had the other day was, that's not normal, you know? And uh, all the criticism that the mayor is getting, I, you know, I like to see them people do a better job. I like to see them take his job for two months and see if you can do better. Because at the end of the day, it's a tragedy that 50 people, I think it was 40, 50 people lost their lives. But some of those lives could have been prevented if some of those people just stayed the hell home. But some people feel like they're Superman. I don't know whether some people be looking at some of these Avengers movies and they just suddenly feel like they can do certain things other people can't do. <clears throat> but you know, if you get stranded, you know what I'm saying, in your car and the type of snow they was having, it was coming up to the car, like the car doors. And, uh, you know, if that's, if, if you got the heat, if you got your car running for heat and that snow covers up your tailpipe, we saw what happened with that. There was an incident where a woman died from that. So it's, it's just a situation that I just think people just need to stay home, man. And, you know, I, I do videos like this when it comes to hurricanes, whatever. Just prepare. Because, look, even if, look. Let's say best case scenario, it's not as bad as expected. And you might be grumbling, but you got it out the way. You got it out the way. You ain't got to make groceries for a while, you know. And, you know, it, 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 it may not be as bad as people thought it was, but I'd rather be in that situation than on the, on the flip side where you're screwed. Because if you just, you know, deal with DoorDash, you're going to be, you're going to be a, a shit creep of a, of a pattern. You got no food in the house with five feet of snow outside. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Tell me what you guys think.